Hi, welcome to Microsoft Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 4, Data Name, Data Types and Data Sizes in SQL Server. In this session, we will learn what is data name, what are different types and their data sizes in SQL Server. Data in SQL Server gets represented based on three key points. One, data name, another one, data type, and finally, data sizes. For an example, if you see on my screen, the employee details. In employee details, I'm storing the data with employee ID, employee name, salary, date of size, and gender. If you see over here, employee ID 1 is Alex, and he's earning 10,000 salary, and his date of joining 2103-2015, and gender is male. The employee ID 2, John, salary 15,000, date of joining on Jan 15, 2011, and gender is male. If you see the third row, Julie, 13,000 salary she is earning, and date of joining is 1672,001, and gender is female. Each column in the database table is required to have a column name and data type. As the SQL developer must decide what type of data that would be stored inside of each column when creating a table. The data type is a guideline for SQL to understand what type of data is expected inside of each column and it also identifies how SQL interact with the stored data. First of all, we'll learn what is data name. Data name is often called as a column name or a identifier or field or attribute. It is the one which gives the identification of data. If you see in the previous example, we're having the column names as employee ID, employee name, salary, date of joining, and gender. These are all represents the column name. They're having certain rules to be followed while we are going to giving the column names or while we are going to using the column names. First of all, what is the rules? The column name can be minimum one character and maximum of 127 characters. If you see an employee ID or employee name that have the character length is almost all more than seven characters and more than one character that we have given. It must and should we can't give the null value or there are any spaces that we can't give it. So this is the first rule. At least the length of the column name should be minimum one and maximum 127 characters. The second rule, table should contain always unique column names. For and suppose, if you see the given, uh, the column names that have given as employee ID, right? So we can give the same name to the second column also. Employee ID, employee ID, but in the same table we can't accept. It can't accept, okay? There should be unique column names out there. So rule number third, column names used in one table, the same can be used in the other tables. For, as I said, employee ID in the same same table, we can't use it, right? So, but in employee details, I have used it as employee ID. The same employee ID column name, you can use it as in another way. The fourth rule, column names cannot be enclosed with the blank spaces and special characters. So, uh, special characters, nothing but, and operates, percentage, these kind of things should not be there in the column name. And there should not be any spaces uh, blank spaces between them. So if you are having any blank spaces, so the fifth rule is that one that should be enclosed in square brackets. Okay, if I'm going to give it an employee space ID, so there should be, there shouldn't be the space between them. If there is any space, then you have to enclose in a square bracket. Okay, these are all the rules that what we are having for the data name. Okay. Now we will check it out what are the data types and data sizes that we are having. SQL data type defines what kind of value a column can hold. Each column, variable and expression has related data type in SQL Server. You can choose a data type for a table column based on your requirement while creating your tables. SQL Server offers the following data types. One is integer, Character, character data, monetary data, data on time data, binary strings, and so on. The, if you see on my screen, there's a no, I have given a 
document over there for the different different data types and data sizes let me switch to the document if you see over here this is the data type minimum value maximum size storage and you know sql server 2000 2005 sql server 2008 2012 what type of data type it is and is there any notes that we are having let me go ahead one by one first we are having different different data types as i said we are having integer data type right if you see all these things from big int int small int tiny int these are all the things that that we are having the binary data if you see the minimum value to minus 2 power 63 for the big int and the maximum value is 2 power 63 minus 1 and the data storage 8 bytes this is the type of exact data type okay in integer also that we are having the same kind of thing that is called exact data type another one integer okay this is the value where we are going to storing it okay this is the maximum minimum value and the maximum value we can store is up to four bytes small int 32 zones minus 32 zone 768 to 32 zone 767 it will store two bytes of data tiny int only one byte the minimum value is zero and the maximum value is 255 okay the bit value is zero and one the maximum zero and one that what we're having one to be one to eight bit columns in the same table requires a total of one byte to nine to sixteen. It is having two bytes. Okay, this is the values that we are going to storing it. This is the decimal values. The decimal and the numeric data type is exactly the same. The precision value that we are having it, right? So the precision values that what we are having storing. So the scale of the number decision for both minimum and maximum is one to thirty eight. Okay, another one we are having numeric same as decimal okay money these are all the money data types that we are talking about right if you're going to enter the data type as money that the maximum story is eight byte small money you're going to give it as four bytes okay float this is the you know approx data type that what we are having the precision values should be specified from 1 to 53 so this is the minimum value and the maximum value that is going to be specifying for the float coming to real that is the, the if you're going to show the real values the precision should be fixed to seven and the story is four bytes this is all about the numeric values that were numeric uh, and binary strings that what were binary values that we're having if you see data time we're going to store the date formats over there data time having eight bytes small data type having four bytes date having three bytes time having time zero to one equal to three bytes four bytes and the five bytes based on the specified item size if you see over here this format is not available this data type is not available in 2000 2005 but it is available in 2008 and 2012 okay in the same way time also that we don't have in uh, no 2000 and 2005 data time two data time offset these values are not there in 2000 2005 versions but whereas we are having in 2008 and 2012 okay so now coming to the uh, string values that is character so character is nothing but character of when that you are going to specify it while you are going to select in the data type so we can have 8000 characters up to we can define the width over there as 8000 characters so where care this is also the same thing that we are going to specify it where care of uh, some value that is nothing but variable of width that we are going to specify it this will comes under string types okay care where care where care max text n where care n care n where care of max these are all things comes under data types uh, string data types characters string data types okay if you see where care it is having two bytes where care of max two bytes plus number of characters text four bytes plus number of characters n where care if it is coming under specific one this is the unique code n care n where care n n where care max n text this will come as a unique code okay if you see where care of max this is not this is not available in a school server 2000 
in the same way envir care of max also is not uh, available in sql server 2005 2000 and the remaining values are there in sql server 2008 2012 okay if you're coming for the binary text that we're having binary where binary where binary max image, image these are all the things that were what we're having in under binary okay in the sense that what we, the maximum values that we can store it we can see on the screen it's a binary 0 to 8000 bytes 0 by where binary is 0 bytes to 8000 bytes where binary max 0 to 2 power 31 bytes image 0 bytes to the value to 1474836475 bytes so these are all the binaries we can specify wherever the max and the and the values we can specify it in bracket that the size of the uh, no the width of the variable width that we are going to specify it okay so finally we are having sql variant okay some other data types that we are having so stores the values of various sql server supports data types except text and text and timestamping so timestamp that we are having stores the data unique number that will be updated every time a row gets updated nothing but you know if you want to create it by uh, create a date modify date these kind of things that we are going to store it in timestamp unique identifier stores global unique guids values uh, in the sense whatever the guid that we are having it will be stored global values over here the XML stores the XML data. You can store XML instances in a column name. Cursor reference a cursor name. Table if it stores the results set for a later processing, we can store all these kind of things. So we have seen different different data types and the minimum values and the maximum values. How much storage that it is going to be storing? Is it valid for the SQL Server 2000, 2005, 2008, or 2012 versions? And we have seen different different types internally over there in this session. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.